League of Legends remakes one of its older champions, and Lord of the Rings Online is getting a quote unquote remaster. All that and more, my name's Ethos, and these are your top five stories for this week's Free to Play Weekly. Coming in at number 5, in Apex Legends, there's only one way a player has the ability to self-revive, and that's after they picked up the gold knockdown shield. Then, after Apex overhauled its rank system in Season 13, the self-revive became far too valuable as it allowed players to rank up points by simply staying alive longer. And Apex's game designer John Larson tweeted that in June, self-res feedback was heard loud and clear. And while some people were just expecting a little bit of a nerf, Apex took it one step further by completely removing the self-revive mechanic and replacing it with the Guardian Angel perk that was previously held by the Golden Backpack guy. Item. What this means is if someone else revives a team member who has a gold knockdown shield, they'll come back with more health and more armor. Apex Legends Season 14 arrives on August the 9th. And coming in at number 4, Tower of Fantasy, the shared open world MMORPG by Hotsuit Studio and Level Infinite, released a creative gameplay trailer today that revealed many of the player customization options in game. According to the video, players will definitely stand out best with the trendy outfits in the game that seem to have various color variations that might give players more free reign to change up how they look. Following that, players can customize their mode of transportation. For example, they can use a futuristic bike straight out of a cyberpunk game or gallop through the wind with an automatron horse. The trailer finished with some carnival fun and some social encounters between players. And moving into story number three, Death First Let It Die, the PvP survival action game built around the over-the-top reality show titled The Death Jamboree is almost ready to be unleashed upon the world. The question is, are we ready? We have until some time this fall to figure that out. The developers originally intended to launch the game earlier this year in spring, but based off the response from the open beta, they decided to give it more time to cook and make adjustments based on player input. The newest time frame was announced on a blog post on the PlayStation site where the developers also took the opportunity to offer players more details on the game itself as well as how they'll be starting out in it. Death vs. is set in the events of the previous Let It Die game, which also featured the Death Jamboree. After participating in the reality show, contestants are given the Wilson robot unit to aid them in combat. Wilson also will come in handy since they can be either a weapon or a shield. In addition to the already strange looking robot weapon hybrid, the developers also offered players a look at some of the weapons that will be introduced into the game. They have ordinary names, but that's about the only thing ordinary about them. A machete isn't quite the same as it's shaped like a triangle, has spikes, and apparently put together in sections. And that's just really one example. To see all these weapons, you'll want to look at the blog post on their official PlayStation website. And moving into story number two, Standing Stone Games Lord of the Ring Online first launched back in April 2007. And while the game had basically undergo basic updates and changes over the year, it's now 2022 that the long running MMO will begin working on a remastered version of the game's graphics and user interface according to a live stream where executive producer Rob Cicciolini answered several community questions. The remastered version is set to bring outdated art, old UI elements, and archaic systems up to par with its new additions, as well as the new character creation options. Other additions include a brand new new in-game six-player dungeon, a War of the Three Peaks sized update that will include a brand new region in Irador and an alternative 1-30 through leveling path with its own story. Server improvements have also been included to reduce lag and 64-bit servers and a brand new system that will allow players to increase mission difficulty. Longtime players will also be happy to learn that there's even brand new in-game content coming. Lastly, if players would like to help, they can purchase the new supporter packs which allows players to help the company to continue to make more content available for free. If you'd like to see the full interview, you can check it out on their official YouTube channel. And finally, coming at number one, your biggest story of the week, Riot Games League of Legends champion Udyr the Spirit Walker has been reworked and his design and visual gameplay has never looked so endowed. The newest League of Legends trailer has provided fans with an impressive first look at Udyr and his abilities to commune with all the spirits of the harsh and unforgiving lands of Freljord. Udyr can channel these spirits' ethereal energy to utilize them in his wild fighting style. Some changes that can be seen in the trailer are his turtle and tiger fighting stance that have been switched out to accommodate two new creatures, the ram and the boar. Another change is that all the stances' names now refer to Freljord gods, Anivia, Orn, the Iron Bear, and Volley Bear, which adds more depth to the story and lore that had already been in place for some time now. As of now, there's been no release date of when Udyr's rework will be officially live, but players can expect him to likely hit servers sometime in the next few months. And that moves us to the question of the week. With Udyr getting a rework, let me know in the comment section below what do you think about it? Do you think it looks cool? Do you prefer the old Udyr? Or do you really mm, unsure? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And these are your top five stories for this week's Free to Play Weekly. Don't forget to check out MMOBomb.com for giveaways and the latest news. My name's Ethos, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out, everyone.